Tonight I will be showing you guys a more advanced way to do steel wool photography. Uh, we'll be using a chain instead of a dog leash and we'll be attaching lights up and down the middle of the chain. So let's get right to it. So here's the chain I'll be using. I've attached some lights down the middle. I've got three of them. They're from Light Excursion. I'll put the link in the description in case you guys are interested. They're pretty cool lights I use for a lot of my light paintings. Then I've attached the whisk to the end and then I have uh handle here at the other end so let's get the camera set up you're gonna want your aperture to be at 5.5.6 here you're gonna want your iso to be at 100 and you'll be doing six continuous six second continuous exposures we will be placing a finger light over there and that way It'll be kind of a marker so we'll know if we are centered with where we're spinning. And when you go back to the camera, you'll want to go into live view mode. And then, you know, figure out where you're going to want the standing point to be. So I'll be standing right where the blue dot is and that's where it's all set up. So, yeah. Once you have everything set up, you'll be ready to take your first shot. Um, but one thing I forgot to mention last time was you don't want to spin near anything flammable because you don't want to start any unwanted fires. So that like, that includes trees or houses, anything like that. Um, wearing gloves is also a good idea and wearing protective clothing like sweatpants and a sweater. I have everything set up now, so I'll be taking my first shot. Let's see how they turned out. I will be doing this one more time, uh, but I have changed the colors of the lights, so we'll have a different uh, outcome than the last. Um, again, if you're interested in these lights, they go for around $100 um, from Light Excursion, and I'll leave the link in the description in case you guys are interested. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.